Slavery touches your life more often than you might think, perhaps every day. The coffee we drink, the chocolate we eat, the cotton we wear, and the cell phone we use daily can all be products of slave labor, many of them children. Some call it modern-day slavery. Modern-day slavery exists wherever men, women, or children are deprived of their freedom of movement and choice, literally held captive in some instances, forced to work without pay, or used for sex. This slavery exists in the United States and right here in our own city. The U.S. Department of Justice has called our Houston I-10 corridor a superhighway for human trafficking. News stories on local trafficking appear frequently in the Houston Chronicle. Be aware of the many different forms that human trafficking can take. There is labor trafficking. Day laborers are at risk. They may be seen waiting on street corners, at major underpasses, and in the parking lots of home improvement stores. Dishonest employers can pick them up, take them to a work site, and then refuse to pay them. Nannies and domestic workers can be trapped in forced servitude, hidden in well-kept houses with landscaped yards and attractive fences, unable to leave or to pay off the so-called debts they incur for travel, room, and board. Even the child selling magazines at your door or the African boys' choir singing night after night in various venues could be attached to a trafficker who takes the money and their freedom. Labor trafficking could occur in your favorite restaurant, a donut shop, a hotel, or in the home of your next door neighbor. One of the most extreme instances of domestic worker abuse is documented in the book, The Slave Next Door, which recounts the tragic story of a 12-year-old Mexican girl who was smuggled into the U.S. as a domestic worker with a family in Laredo. Regularly beaten, deprived of food, and chained outdoors, she was finally rescued when a neighbor, peering over the high fence while trimming trees, saw her desperate condition and notified the authorities. In addition to labor trafficking, there is the evil of sex trafficking. Runaway youth are at great risk. Harris County has about 6,000 runaways every year. And we know that about a third of teens that run away will be approached by a pimp within 48 hours of being on the streets. Studies show that the average age of entry into prostitution in the United States is 12 to 14 years old. 12 years old. And while not every cantina, strip club, or men's club is engaged in sex trafficking, they are prime locations. Padlocked doors, windows that are blacked out, barred, or boarded up, high walls or fences, and prominent security cameras are all indicators that the activities within are meant to be concealed. Using fear, threats of harm to their families or children, or actual physical violence, the traffickers force women and children to engage in sexual activity with customers. Not all locations look suspicious. A trafficking business might pose as a legitimate spa, massage parlor, modeling studio, or the nail salon where you get your manicure. What can we do about these concerns? One of the simplest actions that you can take to reduce the international slavery is to shop responsibly. Be a conscientious consumer. Choose fair trade goods whenever possible. Support business and charitable enterprises that take action to reduce human trafficking, such as Sweet Notions, Somo Beads, Trade as One, and Good News Goods. On the home front, be aware. Know the warning signs of human trafficking. Evidence of being controlled. The apparent inability to move away or leave a job. Bruises or signs of other physical abuse. Fear or depression reluctance or inability to communicate freely with others. And for internationals, the lack of a passport or other identification or documentation. Take action. If you suspect that human trafficking is occurring, call the National Human Trafficking Hotline, 888-373-7888. You can make the call anonymously. Involve your church in anti-human trafficking initiatives. 
and volunteer at one of the organizations addressing the concerns of human trafficking. The UBA Mission Centers of Houston, Houston Rescue and Restore, Freedom House, and others. Pray for those who are trapped in dangerous and devastating circumstances. Pray for those who work to rescue them. Pray for our churches to become involved. The UBA website at www.ubahouston.org provides a number of articles, links, and resources. Join us in the fight against human trafficking.